Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I had to stop what I was doing for a minute. I'll show you. You see this table my friend gave me? It's blue, and I'm making it green. So far, that's how much I've gotten done. I don't get much done at a time, but I work on, I'm work on. i working on it a little bit at a time. Well, anyway, that's why you keep seeing me in my paint shirt. I have to slip it on when I'm painting. Okay, but then I, I listen to videos while I'm painting or doing something else. And this is one. Okay, I was trying to do some email earlier. And uh, one of you told me, you've got to go see Seho Song. Uh, his interv it's an interview with Trump. I said, I mean, uh, about Trump or something. So, oh, Stephen Denoon talking about Trump. So I said, okay, I'll go look it up. Okay, it's the one I was listening to yesterday, or maybe it was this morning, and I hadn't quite finished it. So I finished it, and I, I went straight to Stephen's channel to share it from him, rather than for you to go to Seho Song and then come over here. Well, uh, Stephen has changed the title. He's calling it, and they gave their power unto the beast. Now, I don't agree 100% with him of where we are in the timeline of Revelation, but um, that's neither here nor there. This is about... Um, okay, Donald T. is not really... Uh, what he was say a couple weeks ago you know you have to talk in code or your video won't stay up uh, he will he doesn't even know exactly everything that's going on um, let me play just a little bit of it I'm backing it up here let's see we're at the one four one I don't know if that's far enough but we'll go from there watch your ears if you're wearing earplugs okay to move the people into a global one world government it will be and this is in regards to the United States as far as the Constitution uh, a republic uh, a constitutional republic. Are we a constitutional republic? Is President Trump actually in power? And of course, unfortunately, what a lot of people are not wanting to hear is that the answer is no. Uh, we are going into a one world government. This is why you're seeing this alleged pandemic across the globe uh, being perpetrated everywhere in every region, every country around the world is to move the people into a global one world government it will be uh, headed in Jerusalem this will be the headquarters they will bring out a false messiah an antichrist if you, if you, if you would uh, that they will claim is the messiah himself but he will not be the messiah and <clears throat> Of course, when I originally, when I initially began to try to share this information with you guys, uh, unfortunately, I didn't know how much I could share with you, what I could say, what I could not say. Uh, and so it, it was a little bit uh, difficult for me to express what was going on. So I tried to use what I thought was probably the most obvious for most people, and that is... Um, you know, you had sent me these uh, messages about the presidential seal not being present on the uh, uh, the podium when the president was speaking. The presidential flag was not there. Uh, I, but I was aware, too, that in time past that has happened before. Even under Trump's administration last year happened during the government shutdown as well. Okay, I'm just going to stop it there. Some of you will remember I had a video up. I had blacked out the part where Steve was talking because I wanted you to just listen to him and not look at me. And he was very shaken. You could tell he was obviously upset about the news he had learned from his sources that he considers reliable. And he was not talking about, oh, we know he's not president anymore because there's no seal. 
And I thought that's what he was talking about. So I removed video because someone else said, well, uh, you know, he's talked without the seal before and Obama talked without the seal before, but that's, he was trying to tell us without telling us, like I'm trying to do now, but I don't know how. And so it's, I've pretty much said it. He just said it. Our commander in chief is no longer the commander in chief. So he's just a puppet head, and you can listen to the rest of it to find out what he knows and how he how he knows it. And um, we knew this was coming. Did you all not? Do did we all not know it from the Book of Revelation, from other books that a new world order was coming, and. Uh, that they've been saying it since Bush Sr. was president. He spoke of, we need to have, a, a, when we get the new world order, and we will, he said, uh, blah, 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 whatever after that. And that's on YouTube. You can look that up if you don't believe me. It's Bush Sr. saying, we will have a new world order. Well, it's it's here. Basically, it's here. Look look at us. We all have just caved. And, you know, all, I may be preaching to the choir here. I don't know if there's anybody you could share this video with or this one to let them know. See, I've tried to tell you this was coming. We're in the end days. You need to repent. Jesus, make Jesus your Savior. He says that in the end. That this is the time. If you haven't, make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior. So anybody who just happened by this channel, or you just like to visit it now and then to make a comment about why I'm wrong, please, Repent of your sins and make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior. The time is drawing to an end where you will be able to, if you die in any of the coming cataclysmic events that will happen after the first rapture. And there may be things like this plague, so-called pandemic, which it's not. We know now that they are inflating the numbers. Oh, I, I was in the middle of watching Dana Ashley's channel. She has some snippets or parts of videos and she tells you what channel to go to if you want to watch the whole thing, which I plan to do. A nurse is telling what they're not allowed to tell, and there's some comments that back her up. The hospitals have to admit everybody as COVID-19, no matter what looks like is wrong with them, until they're tested and found to be negative for COVID-19, and they still have to have that diagnosis on their chart. And if they die... They died of COVID-19, and that's why the numbers are racked up so high, it seems like. But, as I told you earlier, the, I think it was Logic Before Authority, showed us all the many things that pe people die of, or that have died since January 1st until April 1st. COVID-19 was 10th on the list and only because they're racking up the numbers and it's a federal offense for these people to speak out and I think this is why Lewis is not allowed to talk to his papa or what did he call him pops anyway his the dad that raised him okay that's from uh Lewis, for, I asked a prayer request for his dad. I can't think of the name of his channel, but anyway, y'all probably are saying it. Anyway, it's my last video or two.
He is he and his brother are not allowed to talk to their father. Their father would probably say, Oh, I fell and broke my arm. And they're telling these boys, Lewis and his brother, he's in there for COVID-19. Do you see it? Well, I don't know if this will stay up or not, but I had to share it. And this, again, is at a Israeli News Live. And the title is, And They Gave Their Power Unto the Beast. If you can't get the link in the description box. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth over myself, my computer, my internet connection, and over this video so it'll go up and I pray it gets shared so that people at least his if you don't have to share mine but click on the link go to his and share it okay and I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections and I plead, I declare that no weapon formed against us will prosper. Okay? With that, I'm going to say bye for now. I will talk to you later.